ya mtoto ni sio moja bana ya mtoto ni sio bana ya so 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 moja so moja so moja so moja 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 so moja so moja so moja so moja so moja So moja watoto so moja so moja Guys on a serious note let's just kick off adventures episode 3 with the karibu karibu this my crazy friend his name is Kevin Anna Just go to the left. <laughs> this is my crazy friend is named Kevin. We go to church together, we minister together in this industry. He's an amazing actor, I love him. Still come love you, but you're not kind. But anyway, I don't know what licenses we need as young people to start our own business. I don't know. It is hard, it is hard for us. Honestly, they are there, we can google them, but googling them and us entering in the system whatever we find is different and we don't want to go deeper into that you guys already know what to do but the demand that yeah eh wali fa ya ma you got only one now so up one episode 2 yo what's up by the end then we'll watch episode 2 when and we have what what ali come through ali sponsor show but what you don't know about this the CEO and director wa Montreal Investment alikuwa na panito ah wacha dose ah kwa hivyo nitaomoka kesi ya kuni people Montreal Grace used to go before she started now selling like and I wanted to like I'm Jawasi how the process was for her yet like she switched from this to this video majani yani Grace I'm responsible for sponsor adina mwana ndio ule kwale ah Baby. Yes. 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 I want us to go have the episode 18. Ah, yes. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Sponsoring. I'm just here. Yeah, sponsoring. <laughs> <laughs> no, what most guys don't know is mm. that you told us this testimony one time in church. You used to actually hook. Yes, I was a hooker. Ulikuwa hook nini? Nilikuwa na hook fruits. Yes, nilikuwa na hooker passion oranges. Mangoes, different fruits. Mm-hmm. Apples this is siku na jua singe afford apples hiyo siku. Can I remember the year? I think 2002 apple three. Were you married? Actually 2003. No. I was not married. I was a young girl nimemaliza high school mm-hmm. before ninge campus ndio nilikuwa na hook. So nilianzia I was employed in a supermarket when I finished uh, high school then nikafutwa. So wakati nilifutwa <laughs> to pesa zenye nilikuwa nazo kidogo nilienda kwa my bro alikuwa anaishi Kirugoya alikuwa anaenda Karatina 5 in the morning Karatina market nachukua fruits nauzua kama fruits maybe 
na 10 bob uh, i'm giving an example like one fruit unachukua for example maybe uh, 20 fruits like 10 bob mimi nakuja na zigawanisha na ika kama four fruits na 20 bob <laughs> na zigawanisha sasa na zipack na papers naanza ku hook kirugo ya town na hii kugawagawa ndio nitaweza kugawa mashamba how do you like transit to like transition into this to knowing you want to now go into eh land i think that's a whole journey you need to talk out course and kind of campus ni kind of mahadi attachment then ni ka employee that attach the only company i worked for nilienda za natachi alafu akanichukua job i worked for 6 years Then uh, but nilikuwa na nimejaribu so many businesses for me to reach here ya mashamba nimeuza phones lines za equity equity iliko inaitwa telecom telecom CDMA wakati zilikuja nimeuza okay i've sold so many things but finally i had a passion ya mashamba sana juu kwetu tunakuwa na mashamba mingi sana nyandaro wa mashamba kubwa so nilikuwa nasema nimekuja Nairobi na sina hata So even when I was on attachment nilikuwa na, na, na naenda kwa mashamba ku kuview mashamba tu. So I started buying land when I was employed. Then I realized e, e, mashamba na nunua na ina appreciate TV. It's good I buy a bigger chunk na ni subdivide nianze kuuza. Mm. It's someone who I know mm. mentioned me that was your child. Yes. So can we call you as village girl? Who is my village girl? Yes, I am very um, I am Bali. Because I think on this show I'm just trying to tell people when you mtu anaanza ai kwenu injeris ni village kwenu kwenye tulikuwa last week kwetu should come for an adventure there maybe mkae siji siku ngapi hata kufika ni shida kuna barabara what advice can you give someone when you are talking because i know grace what you kwenye umetoka you just need to be where you are kama uko kwa hooking kama uko wapi first do it with passion mahali uko and you have a dream na uiandike mahali usikue sasa uko tu hapo because i have seen so many people sorry to say tumeachana huko tu kwa hiyo maybe uko na hook nilikuwa na hook maybe kuna mtu hata saa hii ana hook huko so you need to have a vision na uiandike vizuri so what will happen don't usikose kwanza mahali uko sahi ati juu uko na dream kubwa sasa useme hauta hook hapana anza mahali uko uiandike uendelee ku rise and uh, god is not a respecter of persons Yeah. Hakuna maha mtu anaanzanga kupanda mti from above. Hapana, <laughs> unaipanda polepole pole, step by step. Alafu Mungu anafungulianga mtu polepole. Pole. You just need to start. Usikae kwa nyumba. Then Mungu ataenda amekufungulia polepole. Pole. Hata usifikiria ati saa hii naenda kuanza nitafika wapi? Hata mimi nikianza mwanjari sikuwa najua hata itafika wapi. Ilikuwa tu dream basi sikuwa najua pesa itatoka wapi. Hata hii wema si ati tulikuwa tumeweka milioni kadhaa mahali tumesema tunaanza ni ile tu unaanza uko na faith na Mungu na unajua ya kwamba atakuenda amekulid step by step usigoje ati uone a whole vision ndio nini we we ione but usifikirie ati inatoka pesa inatoka wapi just start take the first step yeah take the first step i, I, I like a quote i saw hmm. it's only the grave that starts from the top ah and that's a nice that quote down, true true hmm. what values hmm. Do you hold with yourself uh, integrity mm-hmm. and professionalism mm-hmm. i always want to keep my integrity mm-hmm. honesty mm-hmm. so that that's how i keep my clients and that's how i keep myself going mm-hmm. and i put god first mm-hmm. yes i follow what god tells me to do mm-hmm. if he tells me to stand here my head down mm-hmm. my feet up that's what i'll do <laughs> God has been a constant. Yeah, kuna constant in the quake and it it on a killer mtu. Believe in God. Believe yes. in God. There's always a higher power above us guiding us. Yes. 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 Do you have um any offers for us on Valentine's? Because this episode 3 of course is going to show after Valentine's. Yes. Last time we looked at your offers city. Yes. Do you have anything for us? Ikona offers of Valentine. Okay. Murera uh-huh. 350,000 only. Wow. 350. Murera iko wapi? Murera iko Ruiru. Uh-huh. There's a place called Darasha. Mm-hmm. Darasha after Darasha there is Monyaka. Mm-hmm. Monyaka Primary. Mm-hmm. Apo mm-hmm. nakupatia na 350. Okay. Darasha shopping center 600,000. Cash. 
ya cash but ukitaka installment bado tutakupatia eh hey, we have an arrangement for installments so the first is murera yeah yes hiyo murera munyaka ndio 350 darasha shopping center 600 you guys get that i told you guys Adventures of Jerry Mudaka offers every single time. Every time you come back and sleep on our channel, there's an offer for you. Grace, thank you for coming. Welcome. See you for your you stopping in. Guys, as promised, my personal chauffeur, my personal driver. Yeah. Mm, your Uber guy? My Uber dude, my <laughs> helicopter dude. This is our Nini. It's our Land Cruiser over here. Our TX. Yeah. Our limousine. You won't tell us anything. This is Kajoke <laughs> Yajdakaliyanga. <laughs> so guys, Gerald is not new. He's not new to my timeline. He's not new to the show. If you guys have been following my work, you know we've been seeing him a lot uh, delivering donations. Yeah, yeah. all over. Okay. Within Nairobi. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And outside of Nairobi. I can trust him. I can trust him to pick, collect everything. But what you guys don't know about Gerald is that before he said this biashara, alikuwa na fa- alikuwa na supermarket <laughs> yeah, outlet shop big shop but let me ask what made you uka change what yeah. happened okay just challenges in life the yeah. nyaziko sangi yeah yeah um, like maybe financial challenges maybe ku, you know so many things this is trigger maybe loans and such things a small shop yeah 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 kakibanda yeah 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 thank you doki dogo this kana chibi then uka adopt so quickly yeah. what what inspired you to stay afloat and not like kana chini ama yeah you know when things happen you have to take them as they are mm-hmm. and you don't have to give up mm-hmm. you know you life must you know me my my mind tells me life must go on mm-hmm. no matter what the situation is mm-hmm. life goes on yeah. and you must be focused mm-hmm. you must you know you must aim high no matter what you are going through you must move on yeah now apart from this cuz i know you have so many clients clients wako ni wale umejishikia yeah one of the qualities and the values you hold on to is um, hard work uh integrity so yeah. people can really trust you yes yes, Gerard, yes i trust you with so much money and your donations that you pay and you pay and you wow and but i appreciate you for that wow thank I you that. i thank you my question to you would be na how did you bado to adopt that quickly ulienda chini hata emotionally did you look when you open up you look what chini hata what happened anything yeah how did you come out of it you know what for an one thing i I, I really you know kitu moja tu minakubalingi is that there's god yes. and you know when god is in you mm-hmm. no matter the challenges you always come through mm-hmm. you 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 always maneuver mm-hmm. you know so once you trust in god mm-hmm. things just flow mm-hmm. then you trust in yourself mm-hmm. and then you work you just don't uh, get down and sit mm-hmm. you have to do something mm-hmm. make sure you you are doing something towards what you are aiming to yeah as mtu asikae tu mtu asikae tu ati oh sije nao nimeamini god so nataka ani provide yeah. go do something mm-hmm. there are so many opportunities over there mm-hmm. you know there is boda boda there is you know unaweza boil eggs and smokies and do something mm-hmm. unajua you can you know kuna unaweza get a maybe a small job mm-hmm. as little as 2000 just 2000 as little as 2000 right. you can start something and move on mm-hmm. which can take you places mm-hmm. yes, yes yes for me that's a beautiful advice for the youth it, it, those values that I may mention and that that I mention is what we are looking for in this show today the values is the honesty integrity hard work a trust in god this is the values you're going to focus on today i love one more thing yes. i want you guys to find you in resambu every time they come okupate give out your number and he'll transport anything he will remove anything from where you want it to remove basically logistics all over all okay, over number. all over the country my number is 0728 72 9200 facebook Facebook is Steve Gerald. Instagram Steve Gerald. All the social media platforms it's mm-hmm. Steve Gerald. Please go follow him for me. I absolutely adore him. I absolutely respect his work. I I respect his hustle. 
Port. Wow. Anyway, so next adventure, actually, next hassle, you should not care. Eh, should not be like a palace. You can put in a producer. No worries. Soon, eh? We can go. Let's go. This is for the, my fourth year. Hey guys, now, as you know, this is episode two. Kuingia ocha ni rahisi. Kutoka, shita. It's so calm, it's so peaceful, it's nice. But the one disadvantage. So look at my nails, they're a disaster. But I came to look for a friend of mine. She owns this amazing place along KRM Drive. She does nails, she does uh, facials, she does pedicure, manicure, dreadlocks. Yani, Nika at Amekwa Kifanya for a while. We met in church, and uh, when she started, I remember she used to complain about a customer moja or really two customers per month. One customer per year, okay, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> Polly, the Kuli de la Kuokianda, first, first time. Business picking up, it will be a bit slow. Right? Tell me how you are able to keep afloat. Did you come in a patient, I'm in a lady, but Uliazaji Kuka afloat. Okay, Makati Nilianzia Ibia Shara, Kwanza Nikwa Nabia Shara Zingine, but in Nika Mini Mungu, Najua Kila Kitu Lazmu Amin Mungu, Nika Mini Nikapuja Nikaka Ibia Shara Yanel. Apatia lem. Na throughout meona mungu kwa sababu tulianza chini, tukaendelea, tukaendelea, tukibarikiwa. Na so far, tumeona mungu. Ok, siwez complain. Ile time ya kwanza, ilikuwa wakati mgumu. Paka na jiuriza bona niliacha ile kazi yangu ya kwanza. Lakini vile tulienda, na, na mini mungu na ninaomba, ikaenda ikipanuka 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 yes. eh, customer wangu wa kwanza mwenye naweza chua tumepeleka na ye vizuri ni customer lafiki yangu anaitwa Salome ya yeah, mina mchua wengine najua wengine sijui kwa sababu mungu anaenda kinipatia wa makasuma wapia wale wakitambo na kuna wengine wakitambo na wamekua wakikuja tu yes and consistency imekusaidiaji menisaidia ile ya kwamba sija choka na biashara kwa sababu ile kitu najua hufai kuchoka na biashara kuna challenges but pia ukiweka Mungu bele mambo yote inakuwa sawa kama ni kahi kuna advice you as a place kahi kwanza amaleta kwa kibanda hapana okay naweza mu advice achukue asiende kwanza kama ni mwana yudhi na dianaza biashara asiende kwanza kitu kubwa aanze kama mimi haikuwa hivi niliaza tu na kadogo vile biashara sasa Mungu alienda kilibariki nikapanua so lazima you start small ukienda ukibarikiwa yes do you offer training maybe you talk about ama okay kaa sasa niko na wafanyikazi wawili wenye nimetrainia hapa na tunaendelea na wao na wengine wakinakuja kama wanajua kufanya hii kazi ah niko na demo moja au wengine ni machali kuna nani utakayokuja ni mademo ni machali ah okay sana sana ni madem but pia kuna wanaume wanakujanga pedicure sana sana wanaume wanakujanga pedicure na kutolewa kitu kwa za mikono ni shule watu wanaenda kusomea eh ni, ni shule watu wanaenda kusomea lazima si lazima kwa sababu kaa sasa kama huyu msichana anategeneza hapa hakukuja akijua but alitrainia tu hapa eh yeah. what values do you hold hapa kwa shop yako trust trust yes hard work also yeah kwa sababu na wabianga lazima ukue hard work hiyo ndio kila kitu anyway i just want to say thank you for the invite yes thank you for accepting me kuja kwa shop yako and i hope one day sana eh karibu sana tunafanyaka kazi poa sana smart 
hautarigiret kukuja hapa kwetu tuko TLM drive gate D just the first stop green store yes just <laughs> okay TLM drive guys can we just see during us Okay, baby, I'm horrible with directions. Eh? TRM Drive. Yes. Okay, on a gate D, right next to gate D. Yeah. Cindy, yes. you will see her shop. It's called Levy Beauty. Levy Beauty. Ama mm-hmm. 0721 I can tell you yes. as an entrepreneur, okay. no matter where you're no me create employment. Yes. So the advice I have picked from you is that even as an entrepreneur, you have the power to grow yes that you can actually start yourself yes and hire people yes and maybe move on to your next level yes. all right guys that has been one Nibia Shara to make what for a while everyone is opening their beauty places but Niwapi how do you keep on with the competition because there's so many guys yes. opening beauty shops mm. but how do you keep up with the competition and how do you keep afloat three years later ten years later you had it from Ali and please visit her and maybe when you come here, I'll negotiate for discounts. You still get bad diet, ama? Ah, you're new quality. Ata pia ila kasi utafanyiwa. Ata labda ata utauliza discount. Jerry's followers, kuna discount. I'm telling you guys, Adventures of Jerry Mozaka is all about any adventure on here. By the way, for every person that we do bring on the show, I'll make sure I negotiate for discounts, eh? Yes. <coughs> last, last episode, Miss Kemon Jerry Investments gave me a discount. Now we have... Yes. At least I mean if I see a discount in the end on our pages, but then make sure to follow us. Yo, before I forget, we hit two thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel, guys. To celebrate, I'll make sure I negotiate something with her and maybe on our two thousand and thirtieth subscribers. <laughs> we can bring it in for money penalty girl. Thank yes. you. Nikosa? Ah, uko bie, <laughs> Nazipeleka visma sana size yake round Yuko fiti eh Unajua umekuwa plug wangu atapo kwa Nice bring it here Umekuwa plug wangu atapo kwa the last um, about 3 years Yeah you have about 3 years uh-huh. What made you start the biashara Ulianzia chapo straight after school uka join the door Okay Mi nilianza hasu nikaona nilikuwa by then nilikuwa nimea nilikuwa employed uh-huh. nikaona nilikuwa natuna dream ya kuwa na kazi yangu uh-huh. so kwa tu nilikuwa tu self employed unaona uh-huh. so mi nikakaa map na idea ya chapo cuz uh-huh. na passion ya kupika uh-huh. and ulipunza kama mtu no in fact nilikuwa Nilikuwa tu nasindika mahali ya kipika cha hapo na angalia vyenye anafanya. Hivyo. And practice kama uh-huh. niko home na home. Uh-huh. Kio kama siku kuu mahali alikuwa anasema mimi cha hapo nzaa. In fact sasa yada ikutoa hata hivi. Hata hata uko events sasa hivi ukiwa events sasa hivi home. Mimi na ambao tu nipike cha hapo. So I'm a professional. You're a professional. Si Mm-hmm. I know it was not a skill, uh-huh. but did you, did you, is there anything you could have told you when you were dreaming of doing? Uh-huh. Na, it was never realized maybe because of one thing or another. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 So, can you know what I Eh, due to hii hii modern kwa nyayi kwa hii modern like yenye tuko nayo ina una haku kama na idea yenye tu naweza breeding na situation yenye iko in term of hustling wewe una kama tuna idea unaona tu yenyewe hapa nitaingia inaweza inaweza nipatia naweza jipa tu na kama ina jipa manze hiyo dio that's the only thing you need to keep going on for now mimi na hiyo siwezi complain so na for now mimi na sema ya na bado so that's how unasema na kulipia bill yani ya ya na ni kile at least na yone unaona hii niko tu kwa hiyo compatible compatibility yangu ya yangu ni binafsi unaona na siwezi complain tu mimi nimeishi na hiyo bill ya hivi na siwezi discourage talking of experience unaona ni job ni job nzuri by the way na kumbuka ukiniambia ulikuwa na tabu shao something else in Kenya yeah something else you feel the kind of thing what do you need 
manzi ako kwa the past panga tangu corona ingie mm-hmm. kusoma tu kweli job imekuwa chini si unaona yeah. unapata tu tu struggle unaona venye tu ai ai gp unaona uh-huh. so una have unapata unapata tu unafikia tu ni kama tu na try something new so you don't mind kuna future hapo na maji yeah you don't mind ah si wezi mind miss ai i'm always i'm always uh-huh. open to new ideas and to venture maze for the kupatia tu bora tu mimi najipatia nione tu mambo yatakuwa tu sawa kwa wao eh how much do you need uh-huh. yeah, kuanzia this year of yours okay nilikuwa nafanya okay ndio nilikuja kuanzisha hii job uh-huh. nilikuwa nafanya job nyingine industrial area uh-huh. kwa mwindi plan <laughs> So <laughs> So uh, ilikuwa nga uh, ilikuwa nga tuna contract ya mwezi moja kisha mna sign contract nyingine so after kitu like three months contract kaisha na kwenye sana ilikuwa nayo ilikuwa nga 14k na i have nothing else in my pocket no so i have to think faster no na fikiri haraka kwa sababu ukikaa sana unajua matumizi lazima unatumia tu na ukitumia pesa inapungua tu so nikakuja nika nikapata na nika nikaanza ku hunt kwa, kwa kibanda mm-hmm. e, so pesa yangu nilikuwa nayo mm-hmm. roughly mimi hapa nilitumia like kwa hii biz mimi mpango na jeja kujiset na mameza juu sikuanga na anything hata from the scratch mpaka majiko manini so uli buy meza kwa buy meza ule mna tumia jiko eh 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 nilikuwa natumia nilikuwa natumia jiko ah sasa ni hizo jiko meza kujipanga na mpaka na unga na keja ili ni cost 8k ya kila siku ni cost 8000 kwa hivyo wakini eh hizo na kuanga nayo ah ni bora tu ni Demotiv- motivation mali demotivate kenye unafanya wewe tu pembe jipe moral mara acha hapana yoyo maapo na makaso mozoko ni kuna ni kwa hii bed the weekend eh ni hapa na sana kwa baro eh makaso mozoko ni kuna ni kwa most you eh sema mimi tufanye hivi eh kila kwa makaso mozoko kwa hiyo pika makaso mozoko okay okay kenye naweza sema in terms of customers okay. once you deliver service yako na ndio baba client yako hiyo ndio inakuwa the first step kuzikia mara ya kwanza mara unaona hiyo yeah so mimi kwangu when they go they must come yeah yeah when they go they must come akikuja afisa staff yangu aende akule anapata na tu anarudi na sema ken ama hata wengine wanachukua na namba zangu they just for data atakuwa tu yeye hata kama amehama atakuwa tu yeye anaambia niache uko area yeah ukije chapo za 300 utaanzia yeah and that's how it always goes so basically there are values of course we may pick out a few values that you could show here in this show this is some consistency because the size of your chapo has never changed the taste of your chapo has never changed um and basically and then your happiness na customer service na of course we trust god that and then your values you could show here so that's very hard work and i appreciate that so much nasemanga <laughs> hata kama kompe iko mimi najiamini na mimi ya kazi yangu na mimi najinai unaona kama mka nairo lazima ujinda na na kama ujinda monta ka kuto dipanje ndo base manze eh lazima bana hai mimi najitambua na natambua tu niko niko na faith na job yangu i have to be it na believe siku moja maybe I have big names so kwa hizi billboards. Usamaji hey. by the ule ule jamani kwa namtu alikuwa anaitwa Ken. Aha. Na wasema ajabu na papeta ya sponsor. Ah mzee jo ajabu. 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 Ajabu za maiki ni mradua. Tukiapatia recommendation hapa ajabu. Okay. Now. Tangu nikutue ajabu. It has always been my favorite thing. 
Guys, this is the base. Na mkitaka ya kuonja ya yezi kosa. Ya kuonja yezi kosa mkitaka kutest. Pass me here ni kwenye marema, resemble. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right guys, so what happened about say 20 years ago when I was not born? <laughs> this guy decided Kenya mm -mm, is not for him. So I don't know I don't know how to start this but you left you left In quite 1993. 1993. 1993, yes. Hey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> You're burning. <laughs> So 1993. Yes. Oh, but then his name is not Jack. I had told you guys on the other time. We come at Nanaka Jack. His place of work is called Jack Place. Jack Place. Yes. Along Uriru, which is a beautiful investment that was done, hmm. not from working here. Yes. Sindio. Sindio. Please take guys through why you chose to leave home before I let you introduce your beautiful son. Uh, first, shall I introduce them? Yes. That's that's, that's my wife, Marie. Marlene, mm -hmm. Gina, mm -hmm. like Gina Kenyatta, mm -hmm. yeah, sorry. Tafari, mm -hmm. like Rastafari and Tafari, mm -hmm. Selassie, mm -hmm. hence the name, but he's also my dad as well, Tafari Kamau, Gina Kamau, mm -hmm. Madeline Kamau, yeah. Anthony Kamau. Um, where did I live home? <coughs> First of all, I was actually geared towards education. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, was obviously geared towards a better future. Yes. And then, uh, suppose during Moist time, education uh, uh, jobs were very minimal. Mm -hmm. uh, those who were born during Moist time, ili kwa shida sana. Uli kwa natoka job, kama wezi mnandi wezi pata job. So those days are those days, but you know, thank God they are all gone those days. Uh, so, left to go to uni uh, straight after fourth form. Mm -hmm. um, but never lost ch touch. Okay. No, never lost the home. No, okay. you know, that's why I still got very good kikuyu. Right. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Still never lost uh, the good Swahili. Mm -hmm. Although I've lost a lot from Sheng. Right. <laughs> that that one I can't hold on. <laughs> uh, so we came back last year. Covid time. Uh, we came back in the Covid heat. Yes. And then. Uh, we decided to come back home finally, mm -hmm. eventually after a few times looking at mm -hmm. the prospects. Right. So yes, so we're here now. You know, in the show today we were just talking about young people. It's a video that has really been trending. Mm. I think my producer is going to play it um, even as maybe, maybe afterwards. Yeah. But it's been trending and there's been a girl who's really been... The video was really hurting and she just kept saying that she had her degree mm. and she still couldn't get a decent job. In Kenya. In Kenya. So yeah. do, you, do you feel like Kenyans or young people should actually, if they miss out on opportunity here, mm. do you feel like they should try out outside and then come back home and invest? I, I would say, uh, if you I would say this, there's, there's a few things you can consider. Uh, mostly is background, uh, secondly is uh, your nature, mm -hmm. uh, because you can't say, I can say travel, right. but also can say don't travel. But I would go 60% stay home, 40% travel. 
because the reason I say stay home, I've come back home and these people who are left who are left here are actually million billionaires. Uh, and I come back, I'm way behind them, I'm way behind them. And sometimes I wish I stayed because I couldn't have lost the system. Okay. Um, there's two ways of looking at that. Uh, there's also people who came back and they're alcoholics, they're very poor, oh, yes. and they've lost track. So it really depends with when you travel, what do you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. If you're an athlete in athletics mm -hmm. or sports, mm -hmm. you have to travel. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm an ex-boxer, so I, I, I have traveled quite a few a, a, around. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> so I, I would say, if I was to give somebody advice now, yeah. I would say stay, stay in Kenya. Really? Stay in Kenya, stay in Africa, because Africa is the next biggest thing. You look at Forbes wow. magazine, right. right? Agriculture, in say in the next 20 years, we'll be feeding the world with oil, food, oh, wow and everything else because uh, you look at uh, Africa in general we discovering more oil than the Middle East like Nigeria could mm -hmm. Nigeria could actually give the whole of Africa oil mm -hmm. okay. if it's about heating we got solar panels we got the sun we don't need electric mm -hmm. uh, agriculture God we got everything oh so literally if you think about Europe mm -hmm. and America you will have um, in the next say I would say maximum of 20 to 20, let me give it 50 years right to be a little bit over the top right. they'll be looking down to us right. for everything Can you say that because everybody I have interviewed is mm. looking forward to going mini Kenya to my it's not Maju. all it's made out to be okay. trust me you have to work your balls off oh uh, sorry about the language <laughs> you have to work yeah you have to work really 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 hard <laughs> yeah. um, uh, you think you have three or four or five jobs to survive. Uh, sometimes you might be lucky get a job in the government. Sometimes you might be lucky you get a good job which gives you a good pension like we did. But not everybody is lucky. So you have to work, pay your college, pay your rent, pay your bills. So it's not what it's made out to be, to be honest. Sometimes you might land yourself into uh, a good situation. Sometimes you might land yourself in a very difficult situation. Uh, so, if I was advising my children now, if I had to advise my younger myself, younger self now, if I could go back in time in 1993, I'd stay in Kenya. I would stay home because I would have probably come out of Kenya, uh, a world international boxer, uh, world titles. Uh, you go abroad, you start learning, start doing your bills, you forget a lot of things. Or stay here and invest and work with the system. Um, okay. But then again, circumstances kind of say either direct you or force you to leave. One of the things. So, unfortunately, things do happen. Oh yeah. Let me ask maybe a quick question to you. Yeah. Would you advise a young person? Living in Kenya, I know you've been home for a few months now. You've been in Kenya, it's home now. Yes, home for, for me. Months now. Do you want them to leave the country? Do you want them to go look for greener passes in the UK? Do you feel like your country has better opportunities for us guys who live here? Well, it's strange actually because quite a few people have asked my advice and said, oh, you know, do you think I should, you know? And I've said to them, I said, it's a whole different world now. Mm -hmm. The last year, Things have really changed in the UK and uh, people are without a job and people that had secure jobs have not got secure jobs. So it's a completely different story now from a couple of years ago. I would say to people, yeah, if you want to broaden your horizons, it's great to travel, but don't expect to come to the UK and get a job because there's millions of people without a job. So it's going to be really, really hard. Yeah, now. yeah I mean... Places like US and UK have got the highest unemployment, right. you well, know, and the disease, the disease, yeah, I mean, it's, this is going to impact economically for the likes easily 15 years. That's true. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. hopefully Africa will catch up. Hopefully. Yeah, we hope, <laughs> with, our, with our government, I mean, I mean, the government of the day, I mean, uh, hopefully when the government changes hands, mm -hmm or even the current government will put something in place that actually helps a lot more. Um, 
Uh, who's more with Govin? You know, they play however they want. You know, we, we, we have a criticism, we criticize the government, but unless you're wearing their shoes, mm -hmm. you have no idea. Mm -hmm. You have no idea what you're going to do. If you get into those shoes, mm -hmm. what can you do? <laughs> unless your hands are very tied. Yeah, of course, you know, the hands are tied in a lot of situations whereby uh, you'd like to splash a few billions here and there, mm -hmm. but you're not. Just because you're not able to, because your hands are tied in a lot of things. Right. So, honestly, I, I I feel like just to wind up. And are you loving home? I'm loving home. You're loving here. Yes. The better. Yeah. The better than the UK. Oh yes. Raise your kids here forever. Absolutely. Never, never, really? Yeah. If they want to go back when they're older, that's up to them. Oh okay. But you know, you I'm love them to I'm stay hoping there. that they would stay here. Okay. I am honestly shocked. By the ending of this video, I was expecting for this guest to tell us, hey, we went abroad, we made the money, we came back home, we invested. But this is, for me, I never expected to conclude my video like this. But honestly, Kenya is, Kenya is a pretty beautiful country. Oh, we are looking at other countries, which we will not mention. And guys are fighting, guys are dying of hunger, guys are, you know, and us guys, honestly, we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have such small issues like hunger. They, they are yeah, there. They're there. But manageable, yeah. very manageable. Yeah. So that's it for my video. I know we'll be back here for a different adventure, not this one. Yeah. You guys, welcome home. Thank you. Welcome back home. We'll be back here at Jack's place for a different, totally different adventure. But that has been episode three of Adventures of Jerry Motaka. Yeah. Come with me. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Okay, here, help me. Say bye. <laughs>